Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Abulicious, and today I'm here with a inspo look. So this look that I've created today was an inspiration from this girl that I saw on Instagram. Her name is XO Sarah Nicole. I will put the name somewhere on the screen and it will also be in the description box below. So she used the neat, the Mayo Makeup Ultra Bright Neon Pigment Stack. So this is what it looks like. So if you are into makeup and you're obviously on Instagram, you've seen a lot of um, influencers and um, makeup gurus and you know just, just people in general who do makeup uses this stack a lot. And I saw it and I was like, I need to get this because it's so bright. And if you know me, you know I like bright colors and I like to step out of my comfort zone. So I decided to get this. It was pretty affordable, it was like 30 something dollars. I will also insert the link down below. This is not paid or sponsored. I actually um, bought this with my own money and that's what you have to do as a small YouTuber is spend your coins before you can get people to wanna like send you free stuff. So this is not free. But this was super fun to work with. If you have if you have used um, pigment stacks before, you know it's like super powdery and so it, it gets messy. So if you're not a person who likes mess, this is not for you. I had um, powder of each of the colors that I've used all over my hands, all of my vanity. My vanity is like super messy right now with all the colors I've used. So it is super messy, but it's also, it's worth, it's worth $30 because you get all these colors and they are bright as it says. I would suggest that if you are going to buy this or if you are using this or any um, loose pigment to do your makeup, pat it in. Use a brush and take your time and pat in the pigment on because if you brush it, you're just going to brush it away. So that is my tip for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial as much as I did. And normally I would just do my first eye first because I want to make all the mistakes off camera and then I will do the second eye. But this time I just started off with the eye first and then I did the second part off camera. So my first try, it was already perfect, which I am proud of myself for that. Practice makes perfect, so if you are a small YouTuber or just a YouTuber in general who loves to do makeup, like don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and don't be afraid to try something new and make mistakes. You're gonna grow each time you practice, you're gonna get better. So if you are new here, please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get in this video.
Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Please comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all the products that I've used on my face today will be in the description box below in case if you're curious. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.